And welcome back to the latest anime and manga news for the week ending June 29th, 2012. And the big one this week would be the sale of Yu-Gi-Oh! assets from 4Kids to both Konami and Kids Co. Now, you may know that 4Kids uh, has been planning this for a while. They got a number of bids, and basically they're going to be releasing a bunch of their uh, licenses to Konami and Kids Co., a number of their media properties, essentially. Looks like uh, Konami will receive the rights to the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime franchise, uh, which also includes domain names, websites, uh, print, print publications, uh, music, that kind, of, that kind of stuff. While Kids Co., which is owned by Saban, will, will receive rights to the Dragon Ball Z agreements with Toei Funimation that they have. That includes Dragon Ball Z Kai, uh, Cubix, Cinepix, Sonic X, and the whole CW Network Saturday morning animation block. So those will all go to Kids Co. So that's where that is. Uh, and probably one of the reasons that Konami got Yu-Gi-Oh! is they got the card game. So that kind of makes sense that they'll handle the, anim the, the anime series. So that's what's going on with the whole 4Kids Yu-Gi-Oh! thing. Meanwhile, some negative and positive news. Yin and Yang for Sentai Filmworks. The production committee behind Rokubu has requested that uh, the series' home video rights be bought back for all licensees outside Asian territories. So they're basically saying, we don't want this released on DVD or Blu-ray uh, by any of, our, uh, of the folks who license it, you know, Never mind. We're going to give you our money back. It, it's done. So it looks like we're not going to get Rokubu, at least not from Sentai Filmworks, anytime soon. However, Sentai did announce several licenses this week. Uh, Hiro no Kakera, the Tamiyori Princess Saga, uh, the 13-episode anime series they have licensed, as well as Legend of the Heroes Trails in the Sky, which was by the director of Tokyo Magnitude 8.0 and, and uh, Dot Hat Quantum. Also, just came over the wire a couple of minutes ago, they have licensed Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere 2. So, wow, they will be uh, making it available digitally on home video, DVD, and Blu-ray in 2013 sometime. Digital release coming soon. So that's nice that, that apparently they're, they're doing well. Moving on, sort of a very weird one. Uh, the official Evangelion website uh, announced that there's going to be a 60-foot-long figure of Rei Ayanami built outside the NTV Tower in Tokyo. Uh-huh. So a 60-foot-wide Rei Ayanami, which, and boy, is this Freudian, uh, next to it will be um, a, a water slide, or some kind of a slide, you'll be able to slide down right next to Rei. That's really creepy. Uh, anyway, th there's, there's a photo, but it's really small. You can't really see any, uh, anything. She's in her plug suit, I can tell you that much, but that's bizarre. Meanwhile, Viz has announced <clears throat> that they will be launching a 24-hour anime service on some major game console. It'll be called Neon Alley, 24-hour anime service. Um, and they have said it will uh, host the English dub premieres of Tiger and Bunny, Inuyasha the Final Act, Zetman, Lagrange, and new episodes of Naruto Shippuden, as well as the Berserk movies. So, pretty impressive from them. It'll be available in the U.S. and Canada only at this point. It'll be a subscription-based service for 7 bucks a month with some limited commercial advertisements. So, you know, could be fun, could be good. We'll see. Also, in uh, the sort of releasing uh, uh, anime news over here in the West, Funimation has been streaming clips for its Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt release, uh, the English DVD release of the complete series. And within the clips, there was some kerfuffle because the clips listed uh, Adult Swim and Cartoon Network in the description tags. And folks wondered if this was news. It wasn't. They confirmed that, sorry, that's purely for search reasons. Those are popular search tags, so we threw them in there. We think fans of Adult Swim would be interested, so that's it. However, they did say, that, um, Funimation did say that they have submitted uh, Panty and Stocking to Adult Swim and to Cartoon Network for their review uh, for possible you know, release um, on Adult Swim if they are interested in that. They haven't heard back from them yet, so maybe, possibly, could be, who knows. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, a couple other little things this week. Uh, a man was arrested for selling... Nami figurines, One Piece Nami figurines, uh, basically selling these uh, figurines for 
uh, what was it? Three figures for a total of two hundred ninety dollars U.S. equivalent. The uh, police say that he has imported figures totaling about twenty-two thousand dollars U.S. from China in the past year. He's a Chinese nat national living in Japan, so he'd actually been arrested for selling unauthorized custom figures of Nami. Uh, these are custom figures, much like the uh, uh, Makaizoku fi figures, the ones that can be basically cast off clothing. Now. Um, the news doesn't ind indicate whether these are actual cast-offs, but similar kind of idea that they are customized figurines based off of existing uh, for sale models. So, yes, you can be arrested for this stuff. Meanwhile, some manga news. Digital Manga put out a Kickstarter a while back for an Osamu Tezuka uh, series called Unico, which is fairly obscure, doesn't have a lot of interest in it, so they decided they'd try to Kickstarter it. Well, they have, they have reached several funding goals of it this past week, uh, in fact, they reached their first funding goal for Unico itself within a week, just boom. And since then, they've already re uh, reached several other uh, stretch goals, which will allow them to license other Osamu Tezuka manga. So that's doing very well. Good to see that manga can actually sell on, on Kickstarter, and that seems a very good and reasonable way of doing things. Uh, let's see here. Um, what else? Oh, uh, if you are interested in seeing Gen Urobuchi, the author of Madoka Magica, as well as a number of other things, uh, Fate Zero, um, he did a, a Black Lagoon novel adaptation, things like that. Well, he's going to be at Otakon this year. So if you want to uh, catch up with Gen Urobuchi, go to Otakon, I guess. And if you're already going, going to Otakon, big bonus. Some mecha news. The official Macross 30th Anniversary Project website has announced there's going to be a special Macross Super Dimension Seminar TV program broadcasting uh, this year. In fact, it, it, it's going to start in a week. The program is going to feature, quote, Instructor Cheryl, end quote. That's all they said. Don't know if it's an actual actress or a stand-in or what. Who will lecture on the history of the Macross series and show clips and explain why Macross is popular, I guess. So that's really interesting. It's going to be showing... Uh, on Tokyo MX, as well as the BS11 channel. So it'll be all over the place, which is kind of weird to see a live-action TV show about an anime franchise. Interesting. But appropriate considering also the fact that the Liberal Democratic Party of Japan is hosting a panel on funding the development of a life-size Gundam. Yeah. Not just a life-size statue of a Gundam, a life-sized, bipedal, piloted, humanoid robot. Yeah, that can't end poorly. Uh, but they're actually looking to do this. They, they've mentioned this in some previous materials that they would like to look into funding this. It's not crazy. They basically said this is something that's been huge in uh, anime and science fiction and so forth. And let's at least look into the benefits of funding research into this and seeing the benefits of building it. Would this be actually worth uh, building? They actually use pat labor and apple seed as probably more realistic you know, examples of that, of construction robots, things like that. So who knows? They could actually move forward. But obviously we're in very early days yet. Uh, finally, a couple of interesting little bits and pieces. Um, Anaplex USA has announced they will be releasing the Hatsune Miku Mikunopolis concert on DVD and uh, Blu-ray, uh, probably, uh, or at least um, in, in some way it will, will be released. It was released on, on, on DVD and Blu-ray in Japan, so presumably same way over here. And uh, so we'll actually be able to see that amazing uh, uh, holographic concert done for Anime Expo last year, which is pr uh, pretty awesome. It'd be nice to actually see that in nice high quality and not grainy YouTube clips. But those YouTube clips are pretty cool. Finally, AIC has announced they will be uh, producing a new anime series to teach English to otaku. It'll be called, well, English translation is Real Otaku English Ribbon Chan, A Magical Girl Who Fights in English. So much like Moetan, it's going to be about a magical girl who teaches English, basically. Uh, I've actually got a little uh, image here to give you a feeling for what that could look like. Uh, so here is the main character of that. Awfully, awfully cute. And so that's basically what we're going to be seeing coming up in, they haven't mentioned, I believe, when it will be released. Um, it'll be an original short anime, so it might be 
uh, like a DVD type release, we'll see. So that's the major news that I'm fitting in this week. So I think that's about it. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. That's it for the news.